In today's video, we will discuss how to survive in the jungle that is in adulthood, how to fend ourselves when we have a DLD, how to cope with our careers and our and how to cope with the socializing. All of these are building blocks to a successful life. And if we can get through it on day one, we will all come out into the sunshine and smell the sweet air of success. If you are new to this channel, I am Damon. I suffer from a relatively a common disorder that isn't being spoken about called the Developmental Language Disorder or DLD. This uh, video is part of the uh, Developmental Language Disorder playlist and I will link it in the description. If you find this value in this video Please give it a thumbs up, as it does help me and my channel. So, let us get into today's video. As we enter the jungle, if we have decided to go straight into work, this is where our lives become interesting. Hopefully our education has given us enough to wade through all of the undergrowth that can tie us down or pull us back to the desk of torment of being in the same position and being under the company so them of despair. After we've finished our time at school, instead of going straight into work, we can go to college and then on to university, which is so probably more beneficial than going to into work straight away from school. That way we can have more time to learn and we will be able to get a qualification that could put out us in better stead with the companies for employment. In the United Kingdom, if we want to go to university, we have to apply by a company called UCAS, which stands for University and Colleges Admission Services. It is, and it is a department that looks after all the application of the universal university hopefuls. During this time we can get extra help with benefits. For example, here in the UK we have the, the Department for Work and Pensions, DWP, which the Job Centre comes under and the Benefits System. For anyone who is disabled, can apply for the Personal Independent Payment, otherwise known as PIP. This, this is a benefit that will give disabled people extra help. For example, if they have mobility issues, they could get some support in place for 
to use out of their home, so they don't fall over. Or if they have a specially adapted vehicle, if they can, if they are able to drive. But uh, this isn't an easy benefit as a vet health professional who reads the application has never heard of DLD. So it is guaranteed that they will fail the application 9 out of 10 times. Once we've decided on what job we would like, the next stage of this walkthrough of the jungle is to be in a position for more than two seconds. We need to bag that job where we can get on the job training. Having this within the job is beneficial as we can fine-tune our skills as time goes on. Fortunately, there's a help for people with the DLD algebra. There are many charities as well as the job centre that will help us to stay in the job. The charities are Citizen Advice, the Shore Trust and then more. All you need to do is go to your favourite search engine like Bing or Google and search for employment charity. After all of this, we need to start to socialise with our peers and if we are lucky to have friends who went to school with us, we could meet up with them or find them back making new ones. So... Having DLD, as you can hear, is nothing like anything else. There are a lot of people who don't understand what a DLD, hence the, these videos. So making friends in the mainstream world is much harder for us than expected. It's because some people neither don't take time to understand what our disorder is all about, or they think they know it all and they try to show it, usually getting it terribly wrong. But there's a help at home for this. There are clubs that someone with a DLD can go to, possibly a club that they're very interested in. For example, a computer gaming club, a sports club, etc. Also, if you have joined a basic, you may be able to participate in some uh, things they do and gain friends who are who have from DLD in your area. Once you have uh, completed this part, we have uh, got through the uh, jungle and can sunbathe in the sun in the sun of uh, success with its sweet uh, smell giving us uh, gentle cuddles. If you feel that this video has given you something to think about, why well don't you give it a thumbs up or subscribe or share it with someone who you may feel will benefit from it.
Next week, Spidel will discuss a developmental language disorder. It can affect reading. How to live. How to deal with the difficulty of reading and what technology there are there is to help someone with it. DLD to read. So I hope you, that you will join me in next week's video. And in meantime, why don't you watch this this um, video that YouTube thinks uh, you will find it interesting. Right, right here. So for now, I say peace out.